It will, it will go higher than that with time because we have not prepared for this rainy day. The president removed oil subsidy to the approval of all and sundry because we know that the oil subsidy regime is the source of uh, so many problems in Nigeria. And uh, in uh, being uh, uh, a president, I wanted to please the masses and attempt to uh, give a breathing space to the economy. He removed the subsidy. But the, the management of the fallout of that removal was not planned. You know, if you don't produce, you cannot control prices. We don't refine these products in Nigeria, so there's no way we can regulate the prices of petroleum products. It's only when we are producing it that we can fix the prices and bring it down. Now, the government has, as, an, as a measure, uh, given approval to six companies to bring in refined products. These are private uh, companies that uh, will pursue profit in their businesses. And by the time they begin to bring in this product, people will be disappointed that that will not bring down the prices. Availability of the petroleum products will be the only way you can bring down prices. We don't have, we will not build refineries. In 2018, I was here in the Senate when we were asked to approve billions of uh, Naira for petroleum subsidy. I cried out that this, we are just postponing the doomsday. Nigeria must take out a program to build new refineries so that within four or five years, at least Nigeria would have had two or one or two more refineries you know, in place. It's only when you begin to refine that you can hope to control the prices. Dangote refinery, we were hoping to, that will uh, uh, help us bring down the prices of these products that are being imported. It's, it's going to be a pipe dream because one is only one refinery and it's a monopoly. Any price he fixes, that is the price you buy the product when he begins to do that. But he has not even started. You know, we have water refinery, we have Potakot refinery, we have Kaduna refinery. Why can't government do something so that they will be producing small, small? Because if they are producing small, small, you add to the quantity available. You know, and it's only when these products are available that you can bring down the prices. So 637 Naira is, uh, is just the beginning. Very soon we get to 800. Look at the dollar. The dollar yesterday was 822 Naira. The dollar is 822 Naira. So we must begin to tackle our problems from the foundation. You know, we must produce. If we don't produce, we'll continue playing with uh, 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 all kinds of manipulations to control price. It's impossible. <laughs> the vulnerable people cannot get any relief with 8,000 Naira a month, you know, because even if you pay 8,000 Naira to uh, 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 20 million people, 8,000 Naira buys nothing in Nigeria of today. It solves no problem. So uh, it would have even been better that the president apologized to Nigerians, telling them to be patient, that he's trying to do something that is surgical enough to reverse the trend. That he will use this 500 billion naira to build a refinery, even if it is two, one or two refineries, 500 billion. Then you can now live with hope that within three or four years, a new refinery will come upstream and begin to refine these products in Nigeria that will bring the prices down. So it's just a question of telling people to uh, buckle their belt. That is not going to be easy. But this 500 billion naira now. Um, it's been targeted as uh, palliatives. If I were the president, I would have used it to start a refinery. No matter how long it takes to plan it and start it. I always laugh when I see such criticisms. Do you expect a senator to go with keke or motorcycle? so that you know that the senators love Nigerians. If you look at the debates we make here, you know that we, we, are, uh, we are carrying the burden of Nigerians on our shoulders. All the interventions we want to make here are interventions that will help in alleviating the sufferings of the Nigerian people. Me, for one, I'm here to stand on the side of the Nigerian people. But it will not be reasonable 
for Nigerians to say that uh, National Assembly members should not have a car to work with. Is it a luxury for somebody to have a car to work with? You have to, you, have, you need a car to work. You need office equipment. When we came back here, uh, our offices were vandalized. I don't know who should be blamed, but the offices that were located to us had nothing. I painted my office. I'm buying the office equipment myself. So is that what I was elected to come here and do? To be Father Christmas, buy a seat for myself, buy uh, the vehicle I will use to work for Nigerian people. There are people who are using convoys of cars, ministers, people in government. These are the people.